YouTube, what is up? Super Chally. All right, today I'm gonna do a comparison for street tires. I'm gonna see if it matters if you will lower the pressure in your street tires, just like I got right here on my BF Goodwrench Comp 2s. I'm gonna see if lowering the pressure will change my zero to 60 time, right? So stay tuned, we're gonna get right at it. But first, let me give you guys a cold start because I haven't done that probably like this is my first video. So here it is, cold start. <laughs> All right guys, so just like I was saying earlier, um, I want to test the tire pressure uh, dropping for the street tires to see if it will help my uh, zero to 60 time out. I know a lot of people do it with the drag radials and then that's pretty standard practice, um, but I don't really ever hear too many people doing with street tires. They just kind of go and uh, just go to the track, maybe do a little small burnout to try to clean them off and uh, they just go from there. So uh, we're gonna do an average of, I'm gonna do three or four zero to 60s with full tire pressure after the car warms up obviously and then uh, we'll drop the tire pressure down and then um, we will do three or four more and then you get the average from that so let me get this car warmed up and we'll do some uh, zero to 60s then all right guys I'm gonna heat up the tires real quick not too much no crazy nothing crazy new smoke or anything like that just clean them off get a little bit of heat on them because they're kind of cold so here we go All right, guys, as you can see right now, my rear tire pressure is at 31. Uh, that's pretty normal for just normal everyday driving conditions. Like I said, I haven't driven this car that much, so should probably be about 34, but we'll just go with it. It's a standard, just standard number. So uh, let's go to zero to 60 time. As you can see, I got 3.9 sitting there right there, pretty fresh. All right, there's no cars coming. Traction control is off. Let's see what the first one does. guys like that blow off valve that thing's really uh doing its job right now uh shoot back around get one more in all right guys one more all right guys so that last one was pretty bad i didn't get to launch it quite like I wanted to. Um, I had a little bit of wheel spin through first and second, so it really killed my time. Uh, but that's kind of what I want. I wanted to see, you know, I want to get some wheel spin. I want to get, you know, kind of a shitty time. Um, I actually got a decent time the first one, but it's probably some wheel spin was induced. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to do one more just to try to find, finalize the three and then uh, go ahead and take the tire pressure down. All right, guys, last one. guys so that still wasn't my greatest I mean it was a 4.8 it wasn't too bad uh, but there was a little bit of wheel spin through first and second but whatever I overcame it so 4.87 so we're sitting at a pretty good low 3.8 a horrible 5.1 and then a semi okay could have done better 4.87 all right it's exactly what I wanted a little bit of uh, variable in time now we're gonna take this tire pressure down and see what happens and try to get you a pretty true standard result all right, guys, so these are the tires I'm working with right here. I got the BF Goodwrench G-Force Comp 2 ASs. Uh, like I said, they're nothing special, just a little bit better than what they come with. Um, so got some decent uh, tread on them still, and they're uh, about a 275 width. So, I mean, you can see they're they're a little bit sticky. I mean, I got some, some road stuff on there, but nothing like a drag radio would, would cover. So uh, that's what I'm working with, if you guys are curious. So it's a 20-inch by 40 by 275 and uh we'll see how she does when i take this uh air pressure out of her 
All right, guys, so the tires are aired down right now. I took them down to 19 PSI, as you can see. It is flashing, telling me I am dumb for doing this, but we're gonna see what happens. Uh, hopefully I get a little bit of better time. If not, we'll know. So stand by and we're gonna go ahead and launch this thing from a low tire pressure mode. All right, guys, first one with the tires low. Wow, so the launch felt good, but um, the time was horrible. So, all right, we'll, we'll use that as the first 5.1 again. So that's a bad time, everybody knows. That's usually a stock time for a Challenger, and this one's pro-charged. Um, so we'll go ahead and try it again, see what happens. Hopefully I can get a better time. One more time, guys. All right, as you guys can see, I did a 4.74. I mean, that wasn't too much off from the second pull I did on the, uh, the stock PSI, um, the 4.8, whatever it was. So, so far, nothing's really changed. Let's do one more and see what we can get. All right, guys, last one. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, so we just did the comparisons. As you saw, the last time I got was a 4.93 uh, with the tires dropped down. Um, I don't know, I mean, it seems a lot faster with the tires at normal PSI, and I'm just saying that. I know there's a little bit of wheel spin involved with it, but in overall, the launch feels better. It just feels smoother. Um, it feels like it can, it can get out of its way a little bit easier than when it's at 950 psi i really thought that bringing it back down you know what is it i brought it down 12 psi would actually help with the launch it didn't i tried to launch it from a little bit a tad bit higher rpm and all it did was spin just like it is so uh i mean the car does have over 500 wheel horsepower so i know that's a factor in this and you know what is the answer drag radials right yeah so I'll, i'm trying to get some of those but you know i just want to see for the guys that have street tires what could they do to make it a little bit easier for them um, and help their times out but it looks like for me I'm gonna stick with the uh, about th 32 psi for my tires because I get a better result and um, just go from there so tell me what you guys think I mean you know I don't think you know 4.9 is even close to being what this car is capable with with a, a better tire or even with more traction I definitely know it's way better than that I've actually taken it I've taken it to a, uh, you know, like a semi prep surface and it's done really well with the 32 PSI. So like I said, this surface I did was, you know, just regular roads. So this is just a random street test I'm doing for you guys. So, um, just keep that in mind. It's just pretty standard what you could do for street tires. So, all right, well, I hope you guys like this comparison. Uh, please let me know what you think. Um, yeah. And if you haven't subscribed already, thanks for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. All right. Until the next video. Peace. Oh,